Hi, my name is Steven and welcome back to my channel. And today I'm going to be talking to you about exploring memory lane, sharing lessons from my school days. When I reflect on my school days, it brings me a series of nostalgia and introspection. Even though it's been a long time since I went to school, it has impacted me throughout my entire life. And my school experiences continue to shape who I am even in the present. While not every experience in school was pleasant, I learned lessons beyond academia. And these extend into human connections and personal growth for me. So occasionally I find myself drawn back into my childhood memories to explore who I once was and uncover the influences that shaped my life and to who I am today. And think about that journey of my growth through the experience of time. And these stories are a snapshot of who I was and what I learned from those days because they are a part of my identity and who I am now. So in today's video, I'm gonna talk about my background, my stories from school and my general thoughts. And before we start, be sure to like, subscribe, comment, share with friends, hit that notification bell if you like this content and let's go. So growing up, I spent a lot of time with my parents prior to going to kindergarten. That meant that I had very little interactions with kids my age during this time. My initial interactions while I was in school were not good. I often struggled to make friends and understand the concept of teamwork. And being the only child, this was very hard for me to interact with other kids. And as I got older, school became the primary method in which to learn about the world besides television. This meant that the lessons I learned, good or bad, were from school experiences. And it really took me a long time before I was able to get the hang of school. All the achievements, grades, and homeworks just were a foreign concept to me. And I never really felt that I belonged into a system like that. And even now, I think the system of school isn't perfect for what children actually need. Now that I have a child, I'm looking back into my past to see what I could learn and teach him about school. Because I want to give him more experiences prior to school than I had. So that way, when he gets into school, he'll be prepared with the skills necessary to make friends and have teamwork. So let's go down memory lane and explore what I learned from my school experience. So here are some of the lessons from my school days. Number one, adults don't know everything. Very early on in elementary school, I realized that adults don't really know everything. They sometimes made errors during their lessons and they didn't know all the answers to my questions. This meant that they had the appearance of being all knowing, but they were really limited to their subject matter that they were teaching. Of course, this is not new to adults, but as a seven year old, I was really shocked when I learned this. I thought that my teachers were always correct and that they were all knowing. And there were times as a child, I would try to correct them and I would get punished for it. Or they would say that the questions that I was asking was being disruptive to the class. I think that these early experiences really shaped on how I view adult authority and started to instill a sort of doubt in my mind about adults in general. But the thing is that if you know the teacher is giving you false information, how could you really trust them? They may not be giving you false information intentionally, but still it's hard to trust them. And especially if they punish you for trying to correct them. Because then what is the incentive to speak your mind and try to give the correct answer? So early on, I was more critical when it came to trusting adults for information. And it led me to realize that adults don't know everything. Number two, best friends unite. One of the best things that school brought into my life was finding my best friends. Throughout my time in school, I found multiple people that were really good friends to me. And normally these people wouldn't have entered my life had it not been for school because I didn't have a lot of peers my age outside of school. So it was really amazing to find those best friends within all those people I met at school. I enjoyed spending my time sharing stories and meeting their families. And they have really shaped me as a person and who I became. Their likes and dislikes often shaped my likes and dislikes. And meeting their families, I was introduced to a whole nother world of parenting and lifestyles. As someone who was very sheltered growing up, this view into another person's family was amazing to me. And friends have also helped me to get through some extremely challenging times within my life. I could turn to them when I couldn't turn to my parents or other people. So being in school has really opened up to a world of new friends and possibilities that I hadn't had in my life. Number three, kids suck. With the good comes the bad as well. When you're introduced to a lot of kids, you find the good ones, but then you definitely find some bad ones along the way. And those bad kids made my life miserable for a period of time. These range from bullies to people that were just excluding me from certain groups. And these experiences were just some of the first tastes that I felt along the journey of my life. And as an adult, I'm still dealing with these kinds of things from time to time. But back then, meeting bullies or people who excluded me was just harder on me as a child. I didn't know how to navigate that world, preventing bullying or people from not liking me. A big part of this issue was that I didn't get a lot of interactions with kids my age prior to school. So fundamentally, I made more mistakes when it came to communicating with other children. This meant that I had less room for error to get the other kids to like me. 
And as I got older, it became about the cliques that formed around me that I was excluded from. And it got harder to join those cliques because you weren't there to join in the first place. These experiences at school were the first that I dealt with different personalities. I really had to learn fast what kind of person they were or risk being excluded or isolated from that group or person. Suffice to say that I came away with a lot of insecurities and anxieties during that portion of my life. And I came away with the fact that some kids just suck. Number four, learn structure. One of the other good things that school taught me was how to keep structure in my life. I needed structure in my early childhood life because I didn't get it elsewhere. This was because I was home all the time and I didn't really have any set goals or things I was doing with that time. In this free time, I was very creative and I did a lot of things without the structure of time. Although this was highly desired, it didn't give me the urgency or framework to work in the modern world. Because things in school were done in hour segments, it gave me a time limit on activities. Ultimately, it created a sense of planning and discipline in me. I learned the essential skill of how to get something done in a set amount of time. This also helped me to understand consequences of not completing that action. I learned to set internal goals to complete what I needed to do in a set amount of time. And later in high school, I learned to strategize long-term work over multiple weeks. And although I did need structure early on, by the time I got into high school, I felt it was too much. Classes and lessons would not be limited by the complexity of the subject, but by the hours in the day. Regardless if it was a simple or complex subject, you had one hour to teach that. This rigid learning style did not help us to understand and absorb that concept. So at least early on in my life, school structure was really helpful for me. And number five, factions and groups. Lastly, school taught me about various factions and cliques within it. The school environment when it comes to cliques and factions also manifests itself in real life. Because as adults, we tend to find similar people and form groups with them. People form groups in high school because of how they look and how they acted. And it was really hard to get into an established group if you didn't already know somebody within that group. I remember wanting to join other groups or factions in high school, but was routinely rejected. And reminiscing about that, I still feel the sting of rejection. Nowadays, I'm less worried about joining a faction or group because it just doesn't pertain to me anymore. Because everybody has their adult life and family takes a lot of time in our day. But as a kid, I was sad to be excluded from certain groups or factions. It did teach me the lesson that people form groups and cliques with each other and how the desire to be in a certain group can form who we become in life because ultimately all humans are looking for belonging. So here are some general thoughts about the lessons I learned from school. I think that there are a lot of things that each of us can learn about our specific school experiences while growing up. As children, we didn't know what was really going on, but as adults, we can look back and reflect upon it and learn specific lessons or figure out the reasons why we did what we did. I learned that I really formed the habits that I have today from my early childhood. And some of the ways that I deal with people in the present are from specific negative experiences that I had with people in school. This of course can be a, both a blessing and a curse. Because if we have negative traits, we can learn and course correct for them. And we can also find positive experiences in our life that also formed during childhood. And another lesson that I've come to learn from school is that the amount of time or free play has decreased throughout my duration in school. This meant that as I aged, there was a heavier and heavier focus on schoolwork rather than exercise. And it moved away from a lot of teamwork and sports related activities. This caused me to have a harder time to sit still and focus on the subject at hand because I had a huge amount of energy, especially when I was growing up, that I needed to get out through exercise or physical activity. And when I didn't use up that energy, I had a hard time focusing or concentrating on my schoolwork. So early on, I also think that I didn't do well in school because I had a lot of pent up energy. So those are some of the memories and lessons that I learned from school. Now that I have a child, I'm thinking more and more about the specific experiences I had during school and whether or not they would help him as well, because I wanna provide my child more than the experience that I had. This means that I have to go back into my past and figure out what worked for me and what didn't. School was a period of my life that brought me a lot of new experiences and lessons. Most were positive, but some were definitely not. Either way, it made a huge impact on my life and who I am today. So I hope you learned something from my trip down memory lane about my past school experiences. And hopefully you'll reminisce about your school experiences too someday. So thank you for watching. Please leave a comment down below on what were your memories of school and was it a good experience for you or not? And I'll see you next time.